Thank you, Dave. 14 degrees at the airport at 804. Good morning, everyone. A family of five thankfully escaping with their lives this morning as their house went up in flames. The blaze breaking out just after 5.30 to home along Temple Vale Drive northeast. When crews arrived at the house, it was already fully engulfed in flames. It appears the blaze began in the garage in the back of the house but then spread very quickly. Neighbors report hearing a loud blast, some sort of explosion, possibly the car exploding inside the garage. Three adults and two children getting out of the house safely. A woman was seen crying nearby. She told reporter 660 News reporter Stephanie Fraze that it was their house and she does not know what her family is going to do now. In news regarding the East Village this morning, the historic Cecil Hotel is coming down. Demolition set for fall, but the large neon sign will be saved. The Cecil sign has some uh, historical value and some relevance to this community, so we're going to take it down on Friday. We're going to restore it to its natural or its original condition, Just put it into storage until we can identify use in the community. But you will find the sign back in the community of East Village uh, when it's restored. Sign is actually being removed tomorrow morning. The 1912 Cecil Hotel has been shut down since 2008. The Calgary Municipal Land Corporation was hoping to save the entire hotel, but after several structural assessments, the Cecil needs to be demolished now. Just can't be saved, likely sometime in the fall. What will be built here on the land at the corner of 4th Street and 4th Avenue Southeast, that still needs to be figured out. On the campaign trail today, Conservative leader Stephen Harper and Liberal leader Justin Trudeau both spending time looking for votes in Saskatchewan today. Stephen Harper is spending his day in Regina. Justin uh, Trudeau is going to be in the city of Saskatoon. At this point, NDP leader Tom Mulcair does not have any public events planned for today. We do know he is in Quebec recording some campaign ads and possibly doing some media interviews. Green Party leader Elizabeth May, she's meeting with voters in Sydney, British Columbia. In Edmonton last night, Stephen Harper again taking aim at the Rachel Notley government. He warned voters not to take, in his words, this kind of NDP gamble in the October vote. This October, October the 19th, Canadians will make a choice. It is a real substantive choice about the direction of this country. It's a choice with profound implications for our economy, for our families, and for our security. Harper again taking a swipe at the provincial NDP for putting off a full budget until October, asking where their economic plan is. He's also questioning why the New Democrats are not showing more concern about the state of the economy. In Ottawa this morning, Nigel Wright, Stephen Harper's former chief of staff, will no doubt be feeling some uh, big time pressure today. This is when he's going to be cross examined by suspended Senator Mike Duffy's lawyer, Wright, testifying yesterday for the Crown about what was known inside the Prime Minister's office for the scenario of repayment of Mike Duffy's questionable expenses. That was a plan to make Duffy's expense scandal quietly go away by saying the senator had possibly made a mistake in his claims. Wright also making it clear on the stand he did not tell Harper that the deal involved someone else, Wright himself paying Duffy's contested expenses. Duffy has pleaded not guilty to 31 charges in connection with his Senate office, living and travel expenses. And staying with election news, the numbers are in now. Millions of people tuning into the McLean's national leaders debate on television and online. These are big numbers for a debate. The debate one week ago exactly today had a total audience of 4.3 million people. More than 3.8 million viewers watched some of the televised debate. An average audience of about 1.5 million. Online views, by the way, totaling about half a million on Twitter. The hashtag MacDebate became the number one trending topic nationally with conversation about the debate exceeding about 2,200 tweets per minute. A total of 220 tweets, 220 tweets, that's hard to say, uh, from the debate um, at the maximum there in total. Uh, the next leaders debate, by the way, happening here in Calgary, September 17th, Stampede Park. Looking forward to that one because that one last week was pretty good. Lots of traction, boy. Yeah, lots of traction indeed. That's your news to 808, 14 degrees. Time now for the Daily Download.